Hello friends, let me introduce myself first. My name is Anggraini Skarlamit from IR22 to SP, LSPR Communication and Business Institute Jakarta. This is a mid-test video for public speaking and presentation skill subject under the supervision of Sir Charles Bonasi Wright. Let's start this video right away. Climate change has many implications for all humanity globally. There are a lot of evidences of climate change shown through televisions, newspapers, and various other media. There have been many active movements that support to reduce the effects of climate change, starting from the students, the public, to the scientist community, who have concerns about this global issue. But what is climate change? According to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, or UNFCCC, defines climate change as an issue that is caused by either directly or indirectly by human activities that change the composition of the global atmosphere and variability. The composition of the global atmosphere is the composition of the Earth's atmosphere in the form of greenhouse gases, or GHG which among others consists of carbon dioxide, methane, nitrogen, etc. Climate change occurs when the climate of a specific area or planet is altered between two different periods of time. The problem of climate change itself has emerged since the 20th century and has become a global problem in the 21st century where all the world's population must share the same vision and mission to combat climate change. If the issue of climate change is not immediately addressed, the temperature will rise by 6 centigrade, which will cause extreme weather that have the impact of large floods and the food crisis at the end of the 21st century. Needless to say, Thus, for us, the social consequences are worldwide and at worst unimaginable dreadful. Famine, sickness, strife, and astrometrical wars will involve mankind in a magnitude never seen before. Based on the report, over 200 million people worldwide are at risk of being victims of flood or drought by 2050. One of the causes of the increase in Earth temperature is fossil fuels where these emissions trigger an increase in the concentration of carbon dioxide particles in air. We cannot afford to stop using fossil fuels because of the high demand for use in various vehicles and industries. At present, various transportation, either private or commercial vehicles, use about 20% of global energy needs, of which the 80% is fossil fuels. 2016 and 2017 were the hottest years ever measured with instruments have been since 2001. But on a global basis, more than 90% of this extra heat energy is going into the oceans, and they are heating up pretty rapidly. And this makes the ocean-based storms like hurricanes and typhoons and cyclones stronger and more destructive. And it also disrupts the water cycle because the water vapor coming off the oceans increasing very significantly as oceans warm and that's carried over the land and falls in much bigger precipitation events, both rain and snow. So we get this record downpours and then leads to the record flooding and the same extra heat that's disrupting the water cycle and making the downpours bigger is sucking the moisture out of the soil and making the draws deeper and longer and more destructive. And when the line dries out, the vegetation dries out. And that means when the temperature goes up, fire increase. Another thing to worry about is melting ice in Greenland and Antarctica. In Greenland itself, the extent of the ice sheet has shrunk by about 150 until 200 cubic kilometers, while the ice in Antarctica has shrunk by about 150 cubic kilometers between 2002 and 2005. The melting of ice also has a significant impact, namely the volume of seawater will increase every year, will result in submerging of many land masses around the world. If 
this is not handled as soon as possible, in the next few years, the earth will become very hot and will trigger natural disasters that will harm the entire population of the world. The world will become a chaotic place with storms, hurricanes, forest fires, and flash floods that will destroy the world economy. Through this, we can realize the importance of switching to environmentally friendly and renewable energy to save all human homes from extinction. Only we can save the planet from a little things that all societies can do to the big things that all the world's population can do. Choose eco, not ego. Thank you very much.